So my little girl Chloe, like most girls of her age, has more than a passing interest in Frozen. She spends most of her afternoons at the moment dressed up like Princess Anna and her favourite hairdo for school is what she calls her Anna hair, which is basically just two plaits on either side. Granny tends to do the Elsa hair because I'm no good at a French plait yet. Today we're going to have a go at doing something a little bit more elaborate. We're going to go for Anna's more princessy crown affair. Chloe doesn't really like to sit very long to have her hair done, um, but she is really excited about her little makeover into Princess Anna, so watch along with us and see how we get on. As you can see, Chloe's got really long hair, which has a tendency to get quite knotty, and there can be a lot of tears when it comes to hair brushing time. We're using some H&A Frozen Detangler Spray, which has extra glittery bits in to make her hair shiny. She's really excited about this. We're just gonna give it a quick spray all over and brush through her hair. It can be used on wet or dry hair. Did it hurt? No. No. It was just tickly and cold. A bit tickly and cold. Yeah. So the first thing that we're going to do is to take her hair into what we used to call when we were kids a ponytail with some loose, which basically means taking the sides in and popping it in a bobble. Chloe's got really thick hair, much like her mum. So. That's made quite a decent sized ponytail on the back there. Mm -hmm. Mom? Yeah. I've got the spring. We've already done the spring. So just turn your head to the side, darling. There we go. So she's got a ponytail with some loose. So what we're gonna do now is take the top piece and this ponytail and basically just twist it round and round and round your finger. As it gets tighter, it will naturally sort of curl round. The idea is that this is going to make a crown piece. <coughs> you need to stay still now, pop it, so that I can pin this. Sit up. Obviously this is where it gets a bit tricky. Basically once you've made that crown piece you just got to pop some pins in and keep it in place and hope that your child doesn't wriggle or touch it. We've got black pins because we don't really use these on Chloe's hair. It might have been better if we'd had blonder ones, but you'll get the idea. You sit nice and still. Don't wriggle. Okay. So basically what you've got here now is a big donut section. Ideally, I think that this would be a little bit wider, but we're going to see whether we can get away with it. Head up. So the next thing you're going to do is to split your hair into two. You could backcomb it at this point, but Chloe's got an awful lot of hair and I'm not really keen on backcombing my kids' hair, to be honest. So you're going to pull it upwards, just give it a little brush for neatness, and tuck it through the bottom of the crown. This bit's quite tricky and it depends how tightly you've pinned your crown in the first place as to how easy it's going to be to do. I'm going to do... Can you hold that piece of hair? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Keep it still. Just pull it through as neatly as you can. I'm not doing a very good job, it has to be said. Let me have that back. So, right now, Turn it round. Right now we've got the crown section which I'm going to have to repin and we've got the two pieces we've pulled up and a rather long bit of hair that I'm going to just basically try and twist in and hide underneath the sections that I've turned that I've folded under. I don't think we've done a particularly good job, but as you can see she's starting to lose patience. You kind of get the idea, we need a bit more practice, I think I also needed to be using a bit of hairspray, there's no way she's going to let me sit and do this again, so we'll put her dress on her and see whether she looks like Arna. As you can see Chloe's hair wasn't quite perfect, it's been different every time I've done it. She isn't keen on sitting still so when it comes to redoing bits of it just for my own um, perfectionist nature she's, she's not having any of that. 
but she's pretty happy with her Princess Anna makeover. If you're going to have a go yourself, I'd love to see how you get on. You can always tag me in a picture on Instagram. Um, my username is at going on an adventure blog.